Hello, welcome to episode two of my video blog on the cabinet of Dr. Caligari, a new piece of theatre that I'm making, um, which is going to be on at the uh, Birmingham Old Rep Theatre. Um, so moving forward from last time I spoke to you, um, we've had a production meeting and that's really interesting because what happens in the theatre when you're making something new is that the parameters of the, the real things you have to deal with like you know if you want to use projectors where how far up stage will they reach if you you know if you need microphones have you got enough money in the budget to do that and it starts to a bit like a Shakespearean sonnet it starts to give you parameters within which to be creative and I quite like that Hello everybody <laughs> Good morning are you blogging? Yeah. <laughs> 360. Yeah, there's too many people. We're going to ask too many questions, so I'm going to turn this off. A couple of the things that we have done that have moved us forward. We started off with the Buto movement. We've now been working with Meyerholtz biomechanics. Um, it's from this same early 20th century period, and. Um, Meyerholt was an actor with Stanislavski and uh, early in the century and then he became interested in uh, less naturalistic work. Um, he worked with Stanislavski a bit directing but then he started to develop his own ideas and uh, biomechanics is the name given to the, the movement practice he developed um, where he was trying to make actors um, efficient almost like machines really, and that word kind of finding the most efficient way to move has sort of carried through. You get Moshe Feldenkrais uh, who uses the same kind of phrase about finding the most effective, efficient way of, of moving so that you're not, you're not overdoing things, so it leads to a clarity. And so it was a, a kind of actor training that was, he was in development at the time, um, and he was moving away from, um, uh, f from naturalistic forms. Um, that got him into quite a bit of trouble with the um, government uh, and Stalin. Um, uh, so much so really um, because because naturalism was the state way of doing things. That was uh, that, that Soviet naturalism. Uh, anything else was seen as deviant and corrupting and as a result of it he got shot. Uh, by a firing squad. Uh, I think it was 1940, quite late on. So, poor old Meyerhold. But we've left with his biomechanics, um, and you can see examples of that now. Right on the shoulder, grab it with this, like all of this work, work, more, 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 and then come, retrieve it and come backwards as big with this part of your body towards me, towards me, towards me, and then. Good, all the way down. Let those arms go up to the ceiling if you're being killed. That's it. And swing. Bench. Slide. Lower, 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 lower. Palms down. 90 degree angles at the front. Suck it all in. Take your over the top, step it out, pull it back, let me see the tension, I want to see every single muscle you have. And go. Heel toe, heel toe, heel toe, heel toe, throw, stay there, lower, 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 lower. Suck it all back in. We also have been working with contact improvisation. This is the latest style of movement, kind of from the 70s, early 70s, and it's really a dance form, and it's, it, as it sounds like, it's, a, it's an improvisation, but it's based on people moving together and reacting from the impulses of uh, each other, uh, kind of physical. So all these things are moving, are working kind of from the outside towards an inside, working with archetypes, working with feelings with non-naturalistic emotional centers um, and 
and uh, and that is all going to be kind of feeding into making this vocab. This is a test. For the next 60 seconds, this station will conduct a test of the emergency broadcast system. This is only a test. Uh, 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 uh,